Hi, uh, welcome to this uh, sneak peek of HIPAC 2022. Uh, this is Josh Sampay with uh, HIPAC Technical Support. Uh, we're just going to give you a brief overview of what's happening uh, with the latest release uh, expected here at the end of January. Uh, first off, the elephant in the room is uh, due to the COVID pandemic. Our conference has been postponed. It is now going to be uh, still in the same place, Long Beach. It's going to be March 28th through the 31st. Uh, please make sure, if you haven't already, to change over your reservations. And uh, there's still additional time to register, so please uh, please join us for that uh, wonderful event. So coming first up is we are going to be releasing HIPAC 2022 in January. It's going to be available on our support page, as all of our other quarterly updates are. whole bunch of new features coming out for you, uh, very exciting stuff. One of the biggest features that we have available now is the soft license. So now our soft license is you do not need a dongle. Uh, it's very convenient, uh, easily transportable between uh, different computers without much of a hassle at all. Really simplifies things, especially for field work, et cetera. Uh, please uh, take a look at that. One of the biggest things that's come out this year is the new survey program. So this new survey program, it's gonna look very familiar However, the icons are slightly different. The entire code base on the back end of it is completely different. So this is going to give us a lot more flexibility in adding usability and new features to it. So it is very exciting. It's completely new programming. Uh, please uh, use it and it uh, goes really well. The other thing we have here is our single beam matrix is now available as an auto matrix. So those users who are used to the auto matrix when using multi-beam, you now have that feature available in single beam survey as well. Survey and high sweep, we've got a lot of new features, making sure that your devices are running properly. A lot of warnings out here to make sure that we don't have um, problems that uh, are undetected. So lots of usability enhancements here, lots of information that uh, is new to help you make sure you conduct a proper survey. One of the biggest things here is that we now support the 32-bit echograms that the E20 are outputting. So this is fully supported now, and you can process this without any problems whatsoever. So it's an exciting new feature that we have here. <clears throat> Our side scan has been greatly improved, both in survey and in processing. We have a lot of new features, uh, new features with new client systems, etc. Uh, in our processing, we don't show it here, but our processing has greatly improved. The quality that you're going to get from your side scan products is going to be phenomenal compared to previous versions of HiPAC, so do look forward for that. Inside of SB Max, one of the biggest features that we've added is now you can do contouring and sorting from within in SB Max 64. So you no longer have to go into TIN model or the sort program to get these two products out the door. Very easy, very straightforward. It's just a one-stop shop nowadays. Inside of MB Max, We've added the ability to utilize the cloud pop-up window for doing your patch testing. This is very, very useful, especially for LiDAR patch testing. Makes life a lot easier um, for getting that properly calibrated and get your survey data out the door. HiPlot has also had a complete redesign. It's now much easier to use, gives you much more options and features to export your data products. Uh, do look forward for that. Uh, it's very exciting, and uh, we're hoping to get a lot of new features out of this coming down the road. Additionally here, one of the big changes that we've got coming on the support system is we're going to be transitioning to a new support uh, system. We're going to be moving over to JIRA. This is going to give us a bunch of ability to have a nice web portal for you and your organization to track your tickets. So do look for this coming out. Uh, we do ask that as time goes on, there's going to be some minor glitches in this transition, but uh, bear with us as we iron those all out. Uh, we're looking very forward to this transition. It's going to make it a lot easier for us to communicate with the programming side and get your products, um, get your stuff all handled and out the door. And again, make sure to join us down in Long Beach if you want to find out any more detailed information on any of these 
items that you've seen here. Uh, again, March 28th through the 31st. And be on the lookout for our registration for our hour-long webinar, going into much more detail on these new features. Uh, be on the lookout for that registration. It should be out shortly. It's going to be a one-hour full-length presentation of all of these new features, and we're very excited to present these to you in more detail.